Humans right. have always been afraid of our technologies, though, right? So it's kind of a fascinating thing that every time we invent something we don't understand, it takes us a little while to catch up with it. I think also in part, humans kind of love b- being afraid. Yeah, we love being traumatized. It's weird. The we want to learn more. And then when we learn more, it traumatizes us. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I never thought about it this before, but I think this is one of the reasons I love what I do is because it traumatizes me all the time. <laughs> that sounds really bad. But what I mean is like, I love the shock of like realizing that like coming to understand something in a way that you never understood it before. Uh, I think I, I, it seems to me when when I see a lot of the ways other people react to new ideas that they don't feel that way intrinsically. But for me, that's like, that's why I do what I do. I, I, love, I love that feeling. But you're also working on a topic where it's fundamentally ego destroying because you're talking about like life. I mean, it's humbling to think that we're not the individual human is not special. Yeah. And you're like very viscerally exploring that. Yeah. I'm trying to embody that. Uh, Cause you, I think you have to live the physics to understand it. But uh, there's a great quote of, about Einstein. I don't know if this is true or not, that he once said that he could feel a light beam in his belly. Uh, and I think, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but I think like, you got to think about it though, right? Like you're, if you're a really deep thinker and you're really thinking about reality that deeply and you are part of the reality that you're trying to describe, like you feel it, you really feel it. That's what I was saying about, <laughs> you're always like walking along the cliff. If you fall off, you're falling into madness. Yes, it's a constant, constant descent into madness. The fascinating thing about physicists and madness is that you don't know if you've uh, fallen off the cliff. Yeah, you know, you don't know. That's that's the cool thing. I rely on other people to tell me. Actually, this is very funny because, like, I have these conversations with my students often. Like, they're worried about going crazy. (laughs) I have to like (laughs) reassure them that, like, one of the reasons they'll stay sane is by trying to work on concrete problems. Going crazy or waking up? I don't know which one. Which one it is? Yeah.